Concerning trend for Yavapai County. Fentanyl overdose deaths are growing, and this year alone, 14 sadly have died from the drug. And investigators are working to get the drugs off the street. They tell Team 12's Colleen Sikor that over the last four years, they've been finding more and more fentanyl in the community. Adrian Campos, the latest person arrested by Yavapai County Sheriff's Office related to this. Fentanyl, a synthetic opioid. We've seen an influx of fentanyl that has honestly scared us. Sergeant Jared Winfrey with the Partners Against Narcotics Trafficking Task Force, or PANT, says fentanyl first came to Yavapai County streets in 2016, believed to be brought in from Mexico. Over the past four years, it's been bust after bust, finding new varieties in new forms. We had uh, some green tablets that were made to mimic uh, Xanax, and those tablets were actually containing valerol fentanyl. We've had some white tablets that contained uh, OC fent fentanyl. Um, we've had baby aspirin. We've had all different pills that you can imagine. In 2020 alone, the Avapai County Medical Examiner says four teens have died from the drug, including 17-year-old Hannah Cup and 14-year-old Olondra Valeria Salinas. Winfrey says users are now taking more than they ever did before. The quantity that people are getting is, is just a fatal dose, and they're not even able to... Uh, to be able to get reversed with naloxone or Narcan right now. The biggest challenge, dealers are moving around and using different names. A lot of times until there's a fatality, the kids want to protect each other. Until recently. Kids are sick of it and they are flooding us with tips. Now, tracking down leads, not wanting to see another life lost to the powerful drug. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Such an insidious, terrible drug.